Hi guys, it's Jilla. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my camera. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, which you probably are because I recently just created it, um, I do shoot photography with the Canon 6D and this is something that I purchased recently. I did a video just explaining on why I went with this one. It was more of like a budget decision and I just really didn't want to wait um, for a full frame camera until I could afford like maybe a Mark III or a 6D Mark II. And yeah, this is um, the camera that I have. So a lot of people are complaining about the back focus but button and um, I'm pretty sure I've had this for like a month now. So I just wanna explain a little bit about how I shoot and what I do to really have really sharp focus in any situation and just really like kind of maneuver the 60 because if you don't do this right things, I feel like you're gonna really hate this camera. I found myself being a little bit frustrated in the beginning. I still did the back focus button and I thought that I had it all under control and then I would go out, take some pictures, come home and realize that most of them were out of focus. So today I'm gonna to show you what I do, not just with this camera, but with any other camera, just to make sure that I have really, really sharp focus. But I feel like these things just just really help with this camera in particular so yeah so I'm gonna just jump into these settings on my camera right now and hopefully you guys can just follow along with me and yeah let's just go ahead and do that alright guys so I really tried to connect the camera to the QuickTime but for some reason QuickTime was not recognizing my camera at all so I'm gonna show you just old school I'm with my iPhone here and this is my screen obviously the camera is on right now so I'm gonna show you my settings right now the first thing is that I have it on flexi zone um, and I can't remember exactly where that is. Here it is. So in AF mode, you're gonna go onto flexi zone. If you had a moving object and you would put it on live mode, but I like it on flexi zone, that way my subject is always gonna be in the middle. So the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press start, stop right here. And I'm gonna make sure that my viewfinder is um, working. And then I'm gonna click on Q right here. And this is gonna let me just change any settings right here. So the first setting that I'm gonna go to is this one right here. And here is where I'm gonna control my functions. So what I wanna make sure is that the AF button right here has an autofocus. And this is, what I, this is gonna control this AF button right here. That means that every time I'm gonna take a picture, I'm gonna have to press the AF button as well as the shutter button right here. And this is what it's called, the back focus button. You can put this right here on the um, asterisk, as, asterisk as well. But I like it here just because it's comfortable and then I have the exposure on the second. So what this does is that it makes it really easy for me to just um, take a picture because obviously this camera does not have autofocus. So what I do is I just focus right here and you can see how it's trying to focus the camera. I should probably move it back because I'm with the 50 millimeter. So I'm gonna... Just focus right here and you can see how the mouse is now on focus. Now, this is what I've done. While holding the A of button, I'm gonna go and take my picture. So as long as I'm holding this button, it's just gonna lock my focus. And no matter how much, not, that focus is now there. So no matter how much I move in the same distance, it's always gonna be the focus um, right there. Now, with even using this, I have come home to find some um, just blurry pictures. So what I would recommend, and this is what has saved my life. So what I do is I create my picture and I find my composition, right? I have the mouse right in the center. If I was shooting someone, I would do the same exact thing. Um, and then I go onto this loop right here and I press it twice. And now I'm super close to the object. And now I'm going to press my button again, and I'm going to make sure that it's tack sharp. And again, this is just struggling because I am so close to this and I should, I should be way further back, but I really can't move. So now that it is super, super sharp, I'm going to go ahead and take my picture. And there it is. Now I have my picture and if I zoom in on it, um, I am 100% sure that it is super sharp and own focus. So if I do this every time for my pictures, I am gonna make sure 100% that I'm not gonna get home to any blurry pictures because I made sure and double checked right there where I, like where I was um, that my pictures were in focus. So I feel like this is a lifesaver. Obviously it takes a little bit more time, but in the end it's just gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of you know frustration when you think you had so many gorgeous pictures, especially if you're doing a wedding, if you're doing engagement pictures you don't want to make, get home to see that your most 
Crushes one or the one that you liked the most and you thought that you got such a good shot um, that is completely or just slightly out of focus, which is like the worst thing that can happen. So something else that I do wanna show you is that um, on the same menu, if I make sure that you're in, not on the live view when you're doing this, when you click in the queue, um, right here, you're in, I always leave it in AF fo AI focus. Um, I only move it to servo if I'm doing like sports photography or if I'm shooting like something that's moving like a animal or something. Um, but I never put it on one shot for some reason just because I like the AI focus. So that's where I leave it. But the manual selection, I never have just all of them, the 11 of them um, um, selected. I always just select the center. And then that allows me to um, use this button right here to select my focus. So if I was using the viewfinder, I would just see the red dots and I can just move them with the set button left and right. So I wish I could show you that, but that would be a little bit impossible to show you my viewfinder, but that's how I do it. In the same way to select that, I would just go to the custom functions. Oh, Jesus. Right here. And it is this button right here, I believe. All right, guys, I was really trying to make this video like super nice, but this camera that I had here died on me and this camera would just wouldn't connect and my QuickTime wouldn't um, recognize it and it was just really messy. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want any further information on how I do this, maybe I'll do a second video on back button focus, but I'm telling you guys that loop is gonna save your life. Just press it twice. Get your focus back and take your picture. Make sure you compose the picture before you take it because obviously you can't really see how the picture is going to come out, like where your object is if you are all the way zoomed in. So compose your picture, click it twice, focus, take your shot. And I'm telling you, you're just going to get really sharp pictures and they're going to look amazing. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe below and I will see you guys on my next video. See ya!